Now, by the end of this video, you'll be able to solve that. That is, find the root of a complex number. Now, your first instinct might be something like this, finding the fifth root of 9 cis 50 degrees, and you might not know where to go to from here. Now, we're going to put this question aside for a second because we really need to dissect what this roots of a complex number. Now, before we get to roots, we need to revisit powers. So, using De Moivre's theorem, we can raise this to a power in the following way. We raise our modulus to the power of 5, and we multiply our argument by 5, and we'll get this answer. Now, to understand this, you have to understand the geometric interpretation of this, and it's actually really easy. So, here it goes. This is 2 cis 10, something with a length of 2, angle of 10 degrees from the positive direction of the x-axis. Now, when we raise it to the power of 5, we're doing two things. We're taking the length of it and raising it to the power of 5. So we're scaling it up uh, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. So we get a much longer, uh, a, a much larger modulus. The other thing that we do is take that angle and multiply it by 5. We rotate it by some amount. In this case, 5 times 10 is 50 degrees. And we'll get something that looks like this. Now, obviously, this isn't drawn to scale. That's 2. That's 32. It should be much, much longer. That's uh, 50 degrees. Now, this geometric interpretation of raising something to a power is vital to your understanding of roots of complex numbers. So, now we're going to get stuck back into doing roots of complex numbers. So, we're going to take the answer that we just got and we're going to work backwards. We're going to find the root of that. So, we're saying uh, z to the 5 equals 32 cis 50. And now we're going to solve it for z, which is going to be the fifth root of that. 32 cis 50. Alright, um, now you should already know one of those answers because we just did it like 30 seconds ago. We take the fifth root of the modulus, which is going to be the number 2, and cis, and we take our angle and divide it by 5, and we get 10 degrees. Now, forget that for a second because the geometric interpretation is far more important. A length of 2 with an angle of 10 degrees. And you can see how these are related, right? So this is to the power of that, and this angle here is one-fifth of that angle there. But there are a lot more answers than just that one. Not just one more answer, but quite a few more. All right, so how could else, what other beginning complex number could we have that when we raised it to a power of five would lead us here? The key here is to think of one that would rotate not that way, but instead that way. All right, let's look at angles for a second. If a complex number was rotating that way, uh, it would have to move through this angle here, which is 310 degrees. Uh, and it needs to move through that in five steps, right? Because we're going to divide 310 by 5. 310 divided by 5 is 62. And that number 62 is going to lead us to our second answer. This is our second answer. Uh, negative 62, 2. And you might be a little bit confused, but look, it works. If we took that answer, 2 cis negative 62 to the power of 5, we would get an answer of 32, 2 to the power of 5, cis negative 310. And what's negative 310? It's just positive 50, which means that that is another solution to the thing that we're trying to do. Okay, there are actually a few more. So far, we've got an angle that starts here and moves this way five times, so 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. We've also got one that starts here and rotates all the way around to there, uh, so five lots of negative 62. But we can do like more rotations. We can start here, go all the way around the circle and back to there again. Now, if we were to do that, we'd be rotating through 360 degrees plus another 50, 410 but we need a fifth of 410 because we're going to do that five times to get to where we need to be. Now, a fifth of 410 is 82, and that is my third solution. It's right here. 82 degrees, a length of 2. And you can test it out, 82, 164, etc., 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 and you'll get right there. You can also try it out by putting uh, the number 2 cis... 82 to the power of 5. And I bet you'll get that answer. Not done yet. More answers. What we could do is start here. And instead of going from here all the way around to there, we could go crazy and go here all the way around the circle and then 
back to there. So that's a full 360 degrees plus an extra 270 plus an extra 40, uh, or another way of putting it, it's two full rotations minus 50, so that's 670. Okay, so I need to rotate through 670 degrees in uh, reverse. Now, 670 degrees divided by 5, uh, that's going to be 134. But be careful, negative 134, remember, because it's rotating this way. Negative 134, and then whatever that is, double, and then triple, and then quadruple, and then it'll get to there. There's one, one more answer, and then we are done. And you can probably guess where it appears uh, roughly. So the way that we're going to get there is a really wild rotation. We're going to go around and around and there. So we're going to go um, 720 degrees plus an extra 50. We're going to go 770 degrees divided by 5, and you get 144 degrees, and obviously same length there too. Now I'm going to write down all my solutions, because there's five of them now, I'm done. Fifth root, five solutions, we get 2 cis 10, 2 cis negative 62, 2 cis 82, 2 cis 144, and 2 cis negative 134. Now, you should be noticing something beautiful about this. What we get is a circle. A circle, radius 2. All right, so the radius of that circle where all of our solutions lie is the square root, which makes sense. Um, now, look at all of these, these lines here. First one's 10 degrees. Next one's 82 degrees. There are 72 degrees difference between 10 and 82. The next one's 82 and 144. There are 72 degrees difference between 82 and 144. Between this one and this one, 72 degrees. Between this one and this one, 72 degrees. Between this one and this one, 72 degrees. So what we get is five equally placed answers around this circle. It's just magical when you look at it geometric. So it is important, very important, that you understand this idea. But you really need to know this as well. So we can say that the nth root of a complex number r cis theta results in n equally spaced points on a circle with radius nth root r, the first point being at nth root r cis theta on n. If you do that, then what I've done here where I was like moving my circle, my hand frantically around the circle, you can avoid that and you can work in a slightly different way. So I'm going to rework this. I'm going to get those five answers using this fact and this idea in the back of my head. So starting from the top, uh, z is going to be equal to root 32 cis 50. I know that there are going to be five solutions, right? Because I know that there are going to be n equally spaced, and this is to the power of 5, so there's going to be five solutions. Now, I know that those five solutions are going to be equally spaced around a circle with radius nth root r. Now, my first solution is going to be uh, the nth root of 32. Now, I can keep writing this root sign, but I can also write it as like 1 to the 5 if I want. Cis, and then theta divided by the number, the nth root. All right, so it's going to be 50 divided by that number there, which is... Five, and it leads me to my first answer, cis 10 degrees. Okay, now from here, I know that they're equally spaced, and I know that there's 360 degrees in a circle. So that the spacings of these are going to be 36 divided by 5, which is 72. And now from here, I can solve all of my... I can do all my solutions from here. So I can say that... Uh, Z1 is exactly what this is, 2 cis 10 degrees. I can say that my second solution is 2 cis 10 degrees plus 72. Okay, now that's 2 cis 82. All right, my third solution here is going to be 2 cis 10 plus 2 times 72. Why 2 times 72? Because I'm going uh, up to 82. Because if it was 1 times that, I'd be at 82. 2 times that, I'll be at the, the next one, which is 2 cis uh, 144. My next solution here, Z4, is going to be 2 
sifts 10 plus 3 times 72. Okay, so when I do that, I get um, something, 216. Uh, I think, 216, 226. Okay, but it's not polite to give these answers um, from like around 226. So we should give that as a negative angle. And finally, our last answer here is going to be 2 cis 10 degrees plus 4 times 72. Uh, I'm not going to attempt that without a calculator, but I'm going to get a positive answer and then I'm going to have to turn it into a negative answer, right? Because I don't want to have like 300 and something as my angle. And what we're left with is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 solutions, because it's a fifth root. If it was a seventh root, we'd have seven solutions. We're left with five solutions here that are equally spaced around a circle. Now, you really should check that they are equally spaced, 72, 72, 72, 72. If they're not, you've done something wrong. Uh, but that is how you solve roots of complex numbers. Now, I will give you like a sneaky formula that sort of encapsulates what I've done there. So this is a more formal formula. Um, now, k needs to be the values 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, up to whatever n minus 1 is. A little bit like that. And of course, you can neaten this up a little bit. I've just written it that way because that's how I've explained it. But there is like obviously a neater way to write that just by bringing that one on n out the front. And the last thing I'm going to say here is I've been making your life really easy so far because I've been working in degrees the whole time. But it's highly unlikely that when you're working with complex numbers, you will work with degrees. Maybe you will, maybe you won't. So we need like a formula that works slightly different. Well, it doesn't work differently. We just talk in terms of radians. Where this is expressed in radians, so it's not 50, it's not 60 degrees, it's pi on 3 radians, let's say. And 2 pi is replacing 360 degrees because there's 2 pi radians in a circle, but it would work in an identical way. It would, it's exactly the same. That is roots of complex numbers. It's all important stuff, you've got to practice it.